Hi, Dulce Bois. Um, okay, so we're going to talk about task selection because that is a big question that everybody has been asking. So you have to do five things by the end of the school year, which for us will be May 27th. That's going to be the deadline to turn everything in because I need some time to make the recordings, hopefully, that you all send me. Um, it's important to understand that you have a lot more choice than you think, according to the syllabus. I made it you have to do one theory task and you have to do one singing task. But truthfully, if you do what I want you to do, which is the virtual choir tasks, then you don't have to do any theory. So let's just look at Schoology first. I have posted everything on Schoology and also Google Classroom because some people said Google Classroom is easier for them. But um, everything is on both places. So if you don't want to add the choir Google Classroom, then don't. Just do it all on Schoology. Okay, so what you see is distance learning stuff. And then you see the syllabus and video. I ramble on and explain it. Um, and then you see different tasks. Where it says the task is where you turn in the task, okay? Sometimes you have to practice from another place. So let's talk about the virtual choir tasks. You have song choices. You have three songs from your choir. Plus, if you're in an additional choir, you could have three songs from that choir. Um, you could have Lucky Luke. You could you can do lots of things. So here's the first thing I want to tell you. I really want the virtual choir recordings. I want to have something to give back to you at the end of the year and say, here's your choir concert. And so I really hope that you'll do them. Okay, with that said, O Salutaris is the song I would like you to do first. You already know it. It's easy and the recording will be beautiful. So it's here, but this is where you actually turn it in. Here is the track. Okay, so you don't have to leave Schoology to find the track. And it's important that the track says virtual choir. O salutaris, virtual choir, alto one, alto two. Um, these ones have clicks at the beginning that let you sync, that let me, excuse me, sync the video and the audio. Also, the PDFs are here for all the songs because I don't expect you to still have your music. Okay, so um, once you've pulled it up, you have your headphones in, you've read the virtual how-to guidelines that tell you how to make the recording, because I want everybody to understand what it should look like. Then you go to the task and you're going to submit it. Oh, look, I put that there too, in case you forgot to read it. I also put how to submit in case you're having problems. Do this thing where you like read directions. It's really cool. And then you're going to submit it here. Every one of these tasks says they're due by May 27th. The reason why is because some people have to do them in a different order. It's just not going to work to do this one right now. That's fine. Choose one to do each week and turn it in. And you just submit it right here, virtual choir task. Um, o salutaris. Now let's say that you have chosen to sing your little heart out and you don't want to do any theory. Theory is dumb. Don't want to do it. Okay. O salutaris would be one. In my life, two. Bring me a little water, three. Medley, four. Look, there's already four songs for you, um, your 80s medley. If you're in, what's it called? Vocal Ensemble. There's Lucky Luke. That's already five things. You don't have to do anything else, just songs. If you're like, well, that's not fair. People who are in Vocal Ensemble get to do that. I am letting you guys, if you want to, learn either encore or beginning choirs, 80s medley, and do that with them as well because I want the 80s stuff to be fun and full of as many faces as possible. And the 80s stuff is super easy. Like you can learn it in a day. You probably already know most of it. The harmonies are really simple as well. Now, only your choir songs are here on Schoology, but you can record more than one thing. So if you go to the choir website, it has everybody's tracks, okay? So the practice tracks for all choirs, are right here and the recording tracks for all choirs are right here. So if you want to do the 80s music for encore or beginning choir, you can find it here. And if you're like, well, I'm not sure what I want to do. The sheet music to every single choir is right here. And then there's sectional recordings where I sing your part. This is just for practicing, not for recording yet. See, um, it says rehearsal tracks, right? And um, you can listen to them and decide which one you want to do, either encores or fifth period or sixth period, whichever of the music you like the most. Or maybe you want to do them all just because it's fun and you want to be the star of the video that I'm making. Um, 
you would still turn them in under 80s medley task because you can turn in more than one recording there, okay? If you hate Schoology and you're a Google Classroom fan, I have put all of this stuff up on Google Classroom as well. So this is what you see right the stream when you log in, but just go to classwork and then resources, lots of resources, virtual choir all, that's where in my life is right now. They're just sectional tracks for you to learn. And then Dulce Voix's songs are here. Bring me a little water, 80s virtual choir. Oh, that's because in my life is up here. I was like, wait, there should be four. And my life is there. And then Lucky Luke is under vocal ensemble. And then the 80s track for encore is here. And the 80s tracks for beginning choir are here. So you can find them. I think it's actually a little easier to find stuff on Google Classroom. But Schoology is what we've been using most of this year. So I put everything there. Okay. If you do not want to do all the virtual choir stuff that I just rambled on about for a really long time, because that's what I want you to do, you have choice. If you want to do sight singing, then you just simply record yourself singing along with me. There's a video, you watch it, you sing. The best part about that is no practice time. You just get on there and do it, and whatever comes out is what comes out, and you submit it. You're not being graded on your ability. You're being graded on your effort, okay? Karaoke. Um, advanced choirs only get to do karaoke one time if you choose to do that. So if you, all you want to sing is O Salutaris or if all you want to sing is the 80s music, okay, I understand. Um, but then you can do karaoke task. Choose any two songs, karaoke style, send me a recording. You are being graded on your performance. So it better be a good one. Uh, like I said, virtual choir is there. On here, on Google Classroom, the only thing that it talks about for theory are the links of how to use Musician. And it's kind of the same in Schoology. If you go back to the theory task, it's just links to help you use it. That's because theory is done on this cool, amazing, I love this program, website called Musician. You do a course and a quiz that goes along with it. And it automatically grades you. It sends me the score. It's awesome and wonderful. Here's the thing to know. Notation and vocab are the easiest because there's no tapping. So if you're only going to do one theory assignment, I would choose that one. Even though it says unit one rhythm is easier. I think that the rhythm is easier to learn about, but there's a tapping drill that if your internet is slow, it doesn't always work right. So you just do that. Um, if you want more help with Musician, watch that video or read how to use Musician for the theory stuff, but you don't actually submit anything to the theory task. It automatically does that to me. It sends me something when you do it. Okay. Um, so that is Google Classroom. That is Schoology. That's where you can find the practice tracks for everybody else's parts. And the biggest thing is plan. What are you going to do for your five tasks? That will help you determine what you're going to do this first week. Hopefully, I get 20 beautiful recordings of O Salutaris. Nothing would make my heart happier. Okay. Um, I love you, ladies. Join us for Choir Club on Fridays so that I can see your beautiful faces. Talk to me in office hours if you need help. Or on Fridays from 1 to 2, I'll do an explanation Zoom. All you do is um, click on one of the links, and you can find the links in the syllabus. You can also find them on the calendar, which is on the website. So you just click on one of those links and it'll take you to Zoom. Um, okay, that's it. I miss your faces. I miss your voices. Bye, guys.